I'd rather not take these guys on in the water. Looks like he might not be giving us a choice. This is not good. This is really not good. Uh, will you please die? Shit! Okay. And we have a bear after us, too. That's just great. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to do the final leg of the Zephyr Quest. If you guys did not catch the last uh, probably couple, two, three episodes, uh, this has been one huge pain in the butt. Um, and I actually had to grind all the way up to... Um, tier four. Well, I had to get the, I had to get the machining bench or the whatever the heck the tier four bench is because I had to make the. Um, I don't even. I'm not even gonna take that stuff. I had to make the, the generator, and you need to need the tier four bench for that. I was thinking I could make it in the tier three bench, but it turns out it's the tier four bench. So, I'm just making some final preparations here. And then we are going to take off. I want to make sure. And yeah, we have an emu. This is this is two two. Yep. I uh, wasn't planning on uh, doing two two. I thought about it, but then I did, I decided not to, except for that I ended up having to kill two two's mother. And so, since I ended up doing that, I figured, well, let's just make this stuff to. To get an emu, um, and that is going to help definitely quite a bit. That's just a Komodo. All right. So yeah, I uh, this was all enclosed in here, but I, I took some of it back down, and I have a full stack of soybeans in there to keep two two fed. Um, once we're out and about, and we're going to grab that so we have uh, enough pieces here to, you know, to do our shelter. And let's grab this bacon and salt it up. And we have a stack of salted bacon, a stack, well, not a full stack, but enough. A stack of cooked meat and a stack of cooked stringy meat. Um, I'm taking these just because they're going to give us the most health. Uh, you are behaving, right? Yeah, he's just chowing down. Okay, so let's see here. Um... We don't... Oh, yeah. We need to get our air bottle. So, yeah, this is all the stuff that I had to make, you know, to do all of this. And um, it took a, took several hours of grinding, and then I had to go uh, AFK for a while. So it is like like 12.30 a.m. <laughs> right now with me trying to get this done. Uh, so we got two things of biofuel. I did make two things of hot cocoa because, you know, we had to grind this far, so I figured we might as well, and that's going to help us in the desert. Uh, not the desert, I'm sorry, the the uh, snow biome. And um, I think we are as prepared as we can be. So um, just checking to see if I'm leaving anything here that I can't take any of this stuff with me. Um, except for the... Oh, for Pete's sake. Seriously? Okay. Um... Well, you know what? We gotta run back down to the water and refill our water thing one more time, anyway. So let's do it. <laughs> um, I actually did this earlier too and caught the whole place on fire and had to quickly scramble to make a a uh, fire whacker. And I managed to save save the place, but I lost a couple workstations. So yeah, it's just been one thing after another, man. Um. Okay, hold on. Put this here and then just drink. Here we go. Okay, so tutu's in good shape on food and water. And uh, so we're just going to pick up the MXC uh, campfire take it with us. And I already have uh, some other things loaded back up in the... Uh, the generators and, and tutu's food is in here, by the way. Uh, I got the wiring tool. I'm just making sure I got everything. I got 
we probably don't need two cans of battlefield, but I did it anyways. And uh, so yeah, we can pick this up now. And take that with us. Um, I want to take a little bit of coal. Uh, we'll take a stack of coal. Yeah, we are like maxed out, but I think we have everything we need. We got the vapor laser. We got the portable beacon thingy that we need. Um, I got an axe, a pick. Uh, we got. I made some aluminum arrows, and we have some flint arrows. We have a hundred rifle rounds. I made. Excuse me. Uh, I made a normal rifle. I didn't want feel like grinding to the hunting rifle because of all the titanium that it was going to need. So. Uh, we just made a normal rifle, uh, but you know, with with the aluminum arrows, we still have half of our a little less than half of our durability on the bow, so we'll be fine with that. I think, anyways. I hope we will be. And yeah, so I think we're we're good to go here. Let's um, I don't know. Let's put the pick down here, I suppose, and maybe the hammer down in place of that. We still have one extra slot there, but we'll just leave that open for. Maybe something unexpected. All right, so let's eat a bacon and one of those. And that parasite's just about worn off, and I think we're ready to go. Um, so you ready to go, too? Two, two? Let's do it. Hopefully um, there won't be a, a storm as soon as we enter the snow biome like last time. Find out in a second here. Okay, good. There isn't. Let's consume this now. And I'm just... I'm going to toss the thermos because we can't take it with us. And that frees up another slot. Okay, so we are heading back towards uh, this location here. It'll take us a little bit to get there, but... Fortunately, with Tutu, not too, too, too terribly long. I'll see you guys up there. Okay, we are here. Um, so I think what we'll do is... Let's hop off to two, 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 two. And let's set up our little shack over here out of the way a little bit. down here get the roof pieces on get the roof on put the coal in there and start that up uh, I guess we can cook that meat now let's um let's set the laser down And it's going to need power. Um, maybe we, let, let's not put the power like right next to it because I don't know what's going to happen. I, I I do not know what's going to happen here, you guys, other than it's probably not going to be pretty. <laughs> That's all I can say. Probably not going to be pretty. So let's put that there. Put that there. Grab the wiring tool. cable over I wish these sections were a little bit longer than that they are oh we're right here okay so I guess I guess the next thing we do is power it up eh um, let's top off the food um, let's get that out of our inventory so we're not getting the cooling effect. Uh, two, I don't know what to do with you. I tell you to go wait over there, except for you'll probably wander off, so you better just continue following me for now. 
You're good on food and water. Um, yeah. Alright, well, here goes nothing, you guys. I guess we need to start this first, eh? Okay, activate the device. Oh! Uh, nice! Not. That did not kill that guy. Oh crap! Okay, that killed him. You know, they're kind of targeting too, which sucks for him, but kind of helping me out a little bit. Alright. I have this. I made that for being in caves. Two, you should probably run, buddy. Okay. We gotta wait for them, them to open their mouth so we can get a crit off on them. Okay, we're not actually doing too terribly bad, but let's... He's dead. We got a crit off on him, but he's not. Right, now he's down. Two, how you doing, bud? Or two. <laughs> We're doing pretty good ourselves. Okay, open that mouth. Missed him. Okay, he's dead. This would probably be faster to do with my bow. Open the mouth. Oh, that didn't kill him. Well, okay, maybe not. Get back to the rifle. The rifle seems to be doing a little bit better. Okay, is this taking damage at all? I don't think so. I think it's okay. Oh, that was a direct hit. Let's take one of these. You did. Man, I'm glad I made the rifle for this. The bow didn't seem to be as effective. This takes forever to load, is all. Well. Alright, let's take one of these real quick. Rid of all the poison. How much longer is this going to take? 82% complete. Okay, we're almost there. Whoops, I shot too soon. We better take a, a health pack here. Okay, and let's also... Here, let me get this down on the toolbar. It's easier for me to get to. Shot too soon. Didn't kill him. They're not attacking the laser. Go down and stay down. 
82% complete. Um, I'm afraid the durability of my rifle is going to wear out before this is all said and done. Okay, poison tonic quick, and then run over here. me to return to the mission area. I didn't realize I was that far out. Of course, stay close to the dangerous worms. That's smart. Go down. Open your mouth. There you go. Alright, let's take a poison tonic. Let's take a health tonic. We did it! Okay, you guys can go away now. All right. There we go. Whew. Okay. This fight would have been a little bit easier if I would have made the actual poison pills, because then we would have been immune, but... Uh, then I would have had to make, it like, a cooking station and all that business, too, and I just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. Head to the unusual lake formation. Is two dead? Ah, uh, two's dead. Sorry, two. Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... I don't know why I'm taking the soybeans. I don't think we need the generator or any of that stuff. In fact, we probably don't need any of this either, but let's just take it anyway. Why? I have no idea. Um, I can't explain why I'm taking this. I'm just doing it. Okay. Inventory full. Let's take this other thing here, and then we can get rid of that. I think we don't need the soybeans anymore because two's dead. You know, two helped us with that fight, you guys. He helped to distract the worm, so he will forever live on in, in my memory in honor of... I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> All right, let's just get out of here. Bye, two. You did well. <laughs> let's go. Okay, we have finally opened up the Ring Lake region. So when we go back to our open world to play through, um, it should be open for us. And I guess it just wants us to go here. And I do have my thingamadoodle to call the dropship to us, right? Yep, so we don't have to run all the way the hell back there. I love that thing. It is amazing. We're very familiar with this territory. Except for in this instance of it, it's completely untouched by us. The rifle lasted the whole time. That was good. Um, not too much longer, though. I wish we had repair kits for crafted items. I know you can get repair kits for workshop items. But it would be nice to have repair kits for crafted items. So when you're out in the field for a long time, you can repair them. But as far as I'm, I'm aware, there isn't. We don't have that. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, very glad I did not try to do this on hard. It's uh, challenging enough on normal. Um, we probably would have been able to do it, but it just would have been that much more difficult. 
So the cool thing about this is, you know, we've we opened up the South Passage too um, when I did a multiplayer a few weeks back, and so now we have both passages opened up, which is great. Okay, there's a croc out there, and there's a bear over here this way somewhere. Oh, bunch of crocs that way. Okay, let's go this way. Are far enough away to where we don't have to worry about them. Why am I swimming so slowly? Seems like I'm swimming. Oh crap, there's a croc right there. Shit. There's two crocs right there. Okay, let's go this way. <gasps> ah! Where do they all come from? Alright, hold on. I'd rather not take these guys on in the water. Looks like he might not be giving us a choice. This is not good. This is really not good. Uh, will you please die? Shit. Okay. We have a bear after us too. That's just great. It's exactly what we needed to have happen. And I can't hit him in the head. And we've got deep wounds, and so we're gonna get more deep wounds because he's just about ready to hit us. Run! <laughs> okay, we gotta take one of these quick. Okay. And there's deep wounds again. This is not going well. Okay. Wow. That would suck, man, if we came all this way just to die right at Ring Lake. <sighs> okay. That got a little intense there. I did not see all those crocs in the water until we got to the other side. Let's try this again. But we need a better approach, a safer approach. Uh, let's eat this for health. Okay. Let's see if we can cross over here. Okay, there's a crack over there, but he's probably far enough away to where we can get over without him doing us. I've got movement. Clear the area before scanning. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we are going to... I figured we'd just walk over here and set the thing down and be done, but no, that would be way too easy. Get the hut set back up here. I'm uh, mostly doing this so we have a spawn point. Uh, bed requires more shelter, right, okay. Okay, hold to set spawn point. There we go, okay. Um, 
Well, our rifle's just about broken, so I hope whatever it is he <clears throat> wants us to clear, we don't need that anymore. Uh, whatever he wants us to clear, I hope we can do it okay with our our bow. We should be able to. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed that saddle. We certainly don't need it anymore. Probably don't need the poison anymore, but let's... um. What kind of storm? Shit. Okay, I'm going to have to stay here and... Keep this thing repaired and keep it from catching on fire. Uh, we need... Oh, shoot. I need to make one of these. I left that. Fiber stick... Uh, what is it? Fiber sticks and something else. there and then a couple pieces of stone we can do that okay. okay we are ready with our fire whacker in case the lightning strikes this and we have our hammer too. Boy, this is <laughs> this mission has just been fighting us tooth and nail the whole way. One more little piece to get through here and then we'll be through the worst of it. What happened to my bedroll? How did my bedroll disappear? I don't get it. Huh. Weird. Okay, let's get everything fully back to 100% here. Okay, um... We have to make another bedroll. I don't know why something happened to it, but something happened to it. Okay, so what? We gotta kill 30 crocodiles. <laughs> really? I don't know if I have enough arrows for that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Dump that stuff out. Okay, uh, we can do this. We got this. Uh, we need 20 fur, a little more leather, and some sticks. We're not going to get fur from Crocs. So do we just kill 30 random Crocs or 30 specific Crocs? Here, let's top this off. Um, I need to find a, a fur, a fur bearing creature to make our thing. And I'm not inclined to swim back across the lake at night. I don't want to fight the crocs at night. This is shitty timing, man. This would be a good time for a bear to show up. Or at least a couple wolves. Or a pig. See, those are all crocs. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's um Okay, that counted for one of the kills. So that leads me to believe we just killed 30 crocs around the island. We don't have to we're not necessarily going to get rushed by 10 of them all at once. I hope that's what that means. Goodness gracious. Alright, I'm going to hang on to their bones. Just in case 
we get to the point where we actually have to make bone arrows. I've got 37 aluminums and 74 flints, but and I know I have more bullets, but my rifle is just about broken. Okay, if that's the case, this might not be quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. So let's just start picking off crocs a little at a time. And unfortunately, we're going to have to do it in the dark because something happened to my bedroll. I'm like completely confused about what or how, but... It's just the way it is. Can I... Oh, you know what? Can I destroy this and get... Okay, we got... We'll get a little bit of fur back from that. We got three. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's go hunt crocs in the dark. Because that's the best time to hunt crocs is in the dark. Everybody knows that. Okay, there's one right there. This might be our last rifle shot. Okay, well, we got him. And the rifle is broken. Okay. I hope our bow will last long enough. The problem with shooting them dudes in the water like this is... I can't recover my arrows without going into the water. Which I'm kinda afraid to do because yeah, it's pitch black down here. Yeah, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Come on. Alright. Where's the island? This is this was not smart at all. I should not have jumped in there. There. Whew. Okay. Yeah, we can't... <sighs> this is frustrating. We have everything... Except for the fur. And, well, we need a couple sticks too, but that's easy to get. There's a stick right there. Yeah, we have everything we need to make that except for the fur. So, I guess we're going to have to look for land crocs. Um, we've got to be able to recover our arrows to make sure we have enough to do this. And I honestly wouldn't mind running into a bear right now. As crazy as that sounds. Or a wolf. Or a pig. Or a jaguar. Anything with fur. I gotta say, man, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just... A, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a little on edge right now. <laughs> this is... This is crazy. I absolutely had no notion of how hard, well, how challenging this quest was going to be. Uh, I really didn't. If I were, you know, to ever do it again, um, you know, I, I would, I would just grind to tier four immediately before I even started it. But again, I had no idea it was going to be this involved. So yeah, this is a real pain in the ass, because I can't see anything, I can't see the crocs. All I can do is just run, keep running around until we run into something. We are at full health, we got plenty of bandages and plenty of health potions. Again, I'm, I really don't want to be sniping at them in the water. Let's see if we can get this guy to come up. Come and get me. Come up on the land. Oh! What happened? I think I accidentally hit the forward button. Got it. Um, yeah, what I what I probably would have would do if I had to do this all over again is grind far enough up, you know, to probably make two rifles. Maybe even a hunting rifle and a bolt rifle as a backup. Um, 
The other thing we could have done too, and again, I just didn't have know that it was going to be like this, is we could have brought the machining bench with us and set it down to repair this rifle and some, you know, extra steel ingots. And instead of taming up an emu, we could have tamed up a buffalo so we could have carried more supplies with us. But, you know, that's uh, that's just the way it goes. I, I, I have no regrets. I, I'm, I know I've, you know, kind of whined a little bit, just a moaned a little bit about this, but I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying the challenge. It's just unexpected is all. And we've had a little bit of bad luck too, you know, so. But we're not dead yet. Okay, there's a croc. Is he in the water or on the land? I can't tell. Yep, he was just sitting on the land. Okay, well, we got five down, 25 to go. We're probably just going to end up running around all night until daytime. Uh, unless we get something that's going to give us some fur, you know. But I really don't relish the idea of swimming back across a lake at night. Just not a good idea. No matter how you slice it and dice it. You know, we would have been just fine if my bedroll hadn't have been destroyed. I don't get why it got destroyed. It doesn't make sense. I really don't. It's almost like the lightning zapped it, but only hit the bedroll itself and not me or anything else. Which also doesn't make sense. But I don't know how to explain it otherwise. Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to do at this point, guys, is I'll keep the recorder running, but I'm probably going to just do jump cuts to the kills until, at least until morning. There's a croc there. And then, you know, once morning comes around when we can see better, we should be able to speed up these kills a little bit. But, again, the good news is we're not getting rushed by 50 crocodiles all at the same time, which is kind of what I was worried about. Okay. Moments like these when I'm very happy that I put lots of points into the archery talents. We've got pretty high points in both archery and rifles. Um, the only, the big main concern right now is I just want to make sure this bow lasts long enough because if it doesn't, then we're going to have to build a workbench and do a long bow to finish this up, which we can do, but it's just going to be a pain in the butt, you know. Um, let's get rid of all of this stuff. We just don't need it. Uh, I don't think we need the rope either. There's a bear across the water there. Oh, there's a jag. Nice. Should be able to get some fur off of him. Fifteen pieces of fur. We're too shy. Yep, we just need two more pieces of fur and then we're good. We can make the bedroll and sleep. What time is it? It's 2.30 in the morning. I mean, too much longer and it's just going to... It's going to get light out, so it won't matter. Seven out of thirty. Okay, 
right, so far we're doing pretty good on the arrow recovery. That's 10 out of 30, so we're a third of the way there. We definitely have enough bones to make bone arrows to finish up if we have to. I'm just, uh, like I said, a little bit concerned about if my bow is going to last long enough. But it wouldn't be, I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal to make a, a workbench and make a long bow. They're not, that's not going to take a lot to do if we have to. Hey, dummy, over here. You know what I could do? Is I could pop him with one of the cheaper arrows. Okay, that guy's attention. Now let's switch back to the good arrows. Yeah, that worked pretty good. We can pull them with the cheaper arrows. That way, if we luck out and get a crit, we only we lose the cheap arrow and not the good one, you know? Two. Okay, so let's go over to our little shack here. And what do we need to make a workbench? We need wood and stone. We've got the leather and everything else. There we go. Okay, what do we need to make a longbow? We have everything. Let's do it. And the nice thing about this now is we'll be able to repair it. And the bow's broken. Oh, okay. You just had to come too, didn't you? Okay. Uh, where does the beacon need to go? Pretty much just anywhere where we're at. We'll put it right here in this open spot. No, we don't have time for storms, especially flash storms. All right, getting a good signal. That's it. Legos is giving the all clear. All right. Whew. Well, damn. Figure is keep throwing surprises. Yeah, there's right. There's probably so. more to come. Oh, I right back and sling home. Prospector. I have no doubt there's more to come. All right, we want to grab this, and we want to grab the MXC furnace. And I don't think we care about any of that stuff. Nope. Let's go over here. And we want to call our drop ship to us. Very cool, man. Very cool. Hopefully we don't get zapped by lightning. Here it comes. Let me in, please. Thank you. I don't think I have to put this stuff in here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just about the same side. Whew. Man, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was one hell of a quest. A mission. It was ten times more involved than I was expecting it to be. So, yeah. You know, and that's the thing I've realized about these Icarus missions, is they are, they are significantly more challenging than 
any mission that I ever did on Olympus. They're longer, they're, there's more to them, there's more surprises. And, uh, yeah, but we finally did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, we're going to do one more thing before I let you guys go. We're going to go back to the open world. Um, we are not going to bring anything down with us from the station. We're only going to use this stuff for missions. So, yeah, we're not going to bring anything. Confirm loadout. Okay, so it dropped us back off on Ring Lake Island again. But there's all of our stuff and our critters, our thumper. Very good. Okay, so let's grab some berries really quick just so we have a little bit of a buff because we're going to have to be able to run if something aggro's us. We don't have any weapons or anything on us. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to run over there really quick and verify that that's opened. I mean, it should be, but I, I want to see it. I want to see it with my own eyes. And then we'll head back to the base. There shouldn't be any crocs left here. We killed them all. <laughs> I can already tell it's opened up. Yeah, because that was a big cliff before. Look at that. That is cool, man. Nice and opened. Looks good. Okay. Very cool. Now we just need to get back to the base in one piece. Get off my bridge, pig. Safe and sound, back at the base. All right. That was crazy, you guys. That was a lot of fun, though, too. I, I very much uh, enjoyed uh, doing that. And man, what a challenge it was, too. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go here, and then um, not exactly sure what we'll do in the next episode. There's, I still have a lot more work to do on the base. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably, the next episode will be some some sort of base building. Um, we need to build a barn. We need to build a utility shed for the power, and we need to build a greenhouse. So those are the three things, you know, major tasks, I should say on the agenda so with that being said i'm gonna let you guys go here thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch y'all in the very next episode see ya